All right, looks like we are live now. Awesome. As the title says, what we are here to explore is the challenge of jealousy. Why do women feel jealous of other women? Now, I want to begin with a disclaimer that this is something which applies equally to men as well. But the reason why I'm exploring only about one gender is because I work with one gender. And that is why you'll notice that I will also talk about my own example as we explore this further. So once again, why can't women stop feeling jealous of other women? So where does this typically show up? It generally shows up in relationships, especially with your partner or spouse. Um, it could be something very normal. They may be talking about another person, another woman, um, just in passing. It could be a colleague. It could be a business partner. It could be anybody. If it happens once in a week, maybe you might just let it pass. And if it happens in a row, let's say two times in two weeks, and if you find your antenna going up and you start asking questions in your head, uh, it might sound something like, why is he talking about her again and again? And what happens with this situation is you might find, if, if you are someone like that, you might, if you find yourself getting really cheesed off at this, getting pissed off at this, at the mentioning of this person, then this is what is happening inside your mind. Now, just to give you an example, I was talking to one of my uh, clients recently, um, and she mentioned that when her boyfriend talked about this another person, she's just a professional in his circle, uh, he spoke about her twice in two weeks, and she said, Sunny, when he drops her name, my BP just goes from 150 to beyond 10,000. Now that sounds funny, but I don't think I would want to be in her shoes feeling that pressure. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a very good place to be in to feel that kind of pressure, just the mentioning of this other person's name. Now, what are the real dangers of this? Um, well, people could end up just getting really irritated. So their state of being is upset. Uh, they could start even taunting their partner or spouse, uh, being sarcastic in their comments. It could be uh, from very mild to vicious, depending on where they are at in their relationship, or it could turn into a full-blown conflict. And any of these things may not necessarily reflect the truth of the matter as it is, okay? So what is really happening in the background? So you may notice that a lot of his, it is just the noise in the mind, in the background. And in my line of work, as I've spoken to different kind of women on this subject, as we start peeling off the layers and investigating the problem, oftentimes it happens to be some form of trauma. And where are traumas trapped? In the unconscious mind, in the part of your mind, which you're not aware of in your waking state okay it could it could be something from the childhood uh, a memory a trauma from a time when you don't even remember and it may have nothing to do with uh, with a romantic partner at all um, for example one of my clients mentioned about um, that she was able to remember trauma from from when she was very young where, where her teacher stood her up in the class and really insulted her for not knowing a math problem. When I look at my own issue with uh, low self-confidence, it, it, it came from a time when I was stood up and I was just nine years old by my class teacher and thrown out of the class and I was kept outside the classroom for the entire day. My father happened to visit the school on the same day and I was further humiliated in front of my father as well. So I had forgotten this memory for a long, long time, but the impact of this memory remained as a very simplistic belief, which is what happens with trauma. 
we end up believing things like I'm not good enough. I am not worthy. I'm not beautiful. I am ugly. I'm disgusting, etc., etc. So this is what is happening in the background. But what shows up in the relationship is irritation. Those sarcastic comments, those taunts that comes out of us and we do not know why we do these things. It's funny. It's unconscious. And that's the reason why you may find yourself um, regretting at times for saying some things. You may even find that after making a sarcastic comment uh, in a few hours or next day or a few days later, you feel looking back, oh my gosh, I should not have said that. I should not have reacted that way. Okay. So why does that happen? Because the moment was unconscious. You did not know what triggered you and it just comes out um, very automatically and instantaneously. Now the worst problem of all of these things, what can happen? If you don't do anything about this, what could happen? So one, of course, if you notice, it affects the health. And when I say health, it could affect in various different ways, depending on the kind of personality you are. If you're someone who eats uh, out of stress, how to combat stress, then it could have uh, eating disorders where you're eating emotionally. It could lead to either losing or gaining too much weight and thus impacting your health badly. It could, depending again on your personality, you could have sleep disorders, not being able to sleep at night very well. Um, what it does to your mind you you hear you have this non-stop chatter going on in your mind always um talking something bad about your partner or it is hitting you very hard you know calling you all sorts of names making you feel really unworthy and not good enough <clears throat> now what could it do to the relationship um it may happen that you may keep falling in love or keep meeting people uh, who either aggravate this feeling further in you because that's what you're gravitating towards. Hey, hi, hi, Sai, how are you doing? Thanks for dropping in a message. You could gravitate towards uh, those kind of people who aggravate this feeling further in you. Or you might just uh, meet someone who is really, really good, but because of this unconscious behavior, you might push them towards um, this this equation that you share in relationships, the pattern can keep continuing. Now, the worst thing that can happen is indifference. And that's a place where you, you just stop giving a shit about anything. Okay. And, and you don't want to go there. Now, what is the problem of keeping this pattern or keeping these self-limiting beliefs that may come from a trauma trap in the unconscious part of your mind? What happens with that? Anything that we repeat over a period of time, we just keep getting good at it. And that means that the situation will only keep getting worse if it is not dealt with. Okay, so uh, there you have it. There could be many reasons why we feel jealous, why a woman feels jealous towards other women. But if it is coming from a place of um, self uh, beating yourself up and, and going, I'm ugly, I'm not worth it, I'm disgusting, what's wrong with me or what's wrong with that guy, am I not enough, is my body not enough, am I not looking good, are my boobs not big or small enough, etc, etc, like all of those things, if you're beating yourself up, chances are that the issue is not at a conscious level, the issue is at the unconscious level, which we don't know what it is, and we'll have to investigate that, dive into it, if the trauma is, the, is in the unconscious level of your mind, then the solution also happens there. So there you have the answer to why women feel jealous towards other women um, in most cases. Um, and of course, like I said in disclaimer, it's the same case with men as well. But because I work with men, I talk about women specifically. Uh, if you like what I said and if, if it resonates with you, then feel free to drop a message. And if you're, some, if you're one of those persons who feel shy about dropping a message in public, please do not hesitate to drop me a message directly in my um, messenger. I'll be happy to get back to you and see how I can help you best. Thanks for listening and thanks for checking this out. If this is something which resonates with you and you think that this might help somebody else in your circle, please share it with them.
Thank you. Take care. God bless.